welcome back to another episode of Cocktails with Kira. My name is Kira, and today we're making a tequila sunrise. A tequila sunrise is another one of those classic summery cocktails. Even the color of the cocktail itself is so visually appealing. It's just so warm and summery. I've actually tried to low key match it in the dress that I'm wearing today. I'm not sure if that comes across. So even though this wouldn't be a cocktail that I would typically order myself, I'm gonna go in with an open mind. I'm here to try new things on this channel. They look so beautiful. I'm sure they taste really good too. You're gonna to use orange juice. I have some fresh orange juice here. I actually have some oranges as well, which I'm probably gonna use for the garnish. You're also gonna use some tequila, of course. I have the same tequila that I was using for my last tequila video. I didn't quite finish the bottle just yet. It is a Jose Cuervo one. Uh, it was one of two that they have in my supermarket, so it's not a very exciting choice, but it will be perfect for this cocktail. And then the last ingredient you're gonna need is is some grenadine. Now this was actually kind of hard for me to track down. The glass that I'm gonna use is this tall one here so we can get kind of a nice gradient to the drink and you can see all the colors. We're gonna start off by adding our orange juice. Six parts to me seems excessive, but again, there's a lot of orange juice in this cocktail. So we'll just go ahead and add the six parts. So now we're gonna go with tequila. This recipe calls for three parts tequila, which even by my standards seems a little bit hefty, but it's obviously a really strong drink and I'm not gonna argue with that. As always, we're gonna do our first part and try it. I already know what tequila tastes like. Yeah. Let's go in with our three parts tequila. Now we're gonna go in and fill her up with ice and then give her a little shake. We're actually not going to stir it or shake it when we add in the grenadine because we want that beautiful gradation of color. I think that is ready to go. I'm just gonna straight pour it in because I actually want the ice cubes in it so there is no need to strain. Let's just pour her straight in so it's almost full and then we're gonna add in the grenadine and then it's done. This is a really quick cocktail. There's not that much involved in it. Oh my God, that's so sweet. This is the moment of truth. I need it to do the stunning like ombre thing. So just wish me luck. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh my God. I think I did it. Is it up? Is that upside down? It's got a nice little ombre gradient situation going on, which I'm quite happy with. For my garnish, I'm going to use a wedge of orange because obviously. Then I'm also gonna use one of my cocktail cherries. Look at the color, like they are so bright. Hmm, okay, I think this works. So there we go. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm really happy with that. Is it as polished as you would get in a upmarket cocktail bar? Probably not. But again, it is something that you can recreate at home because if I can make this, you can make this. Ooh, okay, it's the moment of truth. I'm dying to try this and to see if I can enjoy tequila cocktails that aren't margaritas. Let's give it a go. That is actually really good. I thought it would be more acidic because of the orange juice and how much orange juice is in it. But actually, the copious amount of tequila that is in this kind of mellows the orange juice. And I can't really taste the grenadine, so it's, it is sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It is absolutely laced though. This is pure rocket fuel. There is three full shots of tequila in here. As a drink on its own, I'm really enjoying this. So there you have it, that was my attempt at the tequila sunrise. If you are a fan of making them at home, do let me know your tips and tricks. But I will say, I think my first attempt turned out pretty well. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will leave a link up here. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Cheers.